Sorry for that hiccup, everyone. Uh, temporary lost connection there. <laughs> but yeah, it was close to dead anyway, and uh, whatever you missed, Kurt basically finished the job himself. Gotta love that counterattack, Quartz. Now that he's an effective dodge tank, he's uh, pretty much my most useful party member. <laughs> anyway, we beat this monster. And we got 5,000 mirror for it. Now I can just fast travel right out of this place. I'm just gonna heal up first. <laughs> uh, that was unpleasant. Yeah, that's probably on Twitch more than anything. Because, uh... Normally, I don't, like, reconnect that fast. Whoops. My bad. Anyway, if we want to, uh, head to the airport now. This is the first time we've actually seen the Heimdall Airport. We didn't get to go here in, uh, Cold Steel 1 or 2. And the clouds are getting more ominous, though. It's pretty spooky. Wow, this airport is huge. It reminds me of the Crossbell Airport lobby. This is the biggest airport in the Empire. I heard they did a large expansion to it earlier in the year. They started direct flights to Crossbell, Halask, Jirai, and many other places. It's almost as important as the railroad is in terms of important infrastructure. I'm sure that'll continue to grow in the future. Yeah, the tickets are still expensive, though. It's pretty crowded here, too. The festival is starting soon, after all. People from everywhere are gathering to the city. The request should be from the arrival and departure desk, so let's go there. Roger that. Okay. Well, not that guy, but this guy over here. Let's see what he needs. Uh, so the request was from somebody in the cargo department, right? Yeah, unfortunately. It's not like it was a very interesting fight, though. Well, let's ask him. Pardon us, we're with the Thor's Military Academy. Oh, you're... It's a good day. I've been waiting for you. We'd definitely like to ask for your help. You said you received a package of unknown origin, right? Why not just send it back to where it came from? Well, about that. It'd be faster if you just took a look at it. Oh, he can call out packages like that? Seems like a new orbital feature they have. Yeah, most of our equipment's been automated after the res after the renovations. And here it comes now. <laughs> this is it. No one's come to pick it up after it arrived on a cargo flight two days ago. The delivery tag's been removed, the slip is damaged, and the shipping company and address aren't specified. But there are stickers attached that say valuable and use caution when handling. Based on the shape, it might be an expensive painting. So you thought you'd hand it over to someone? Yeah, to be honest, I have no clue what to do with it. Would you be able to lend me a hand with this? Yeah, I'm not touching the Vantage Master stuff. It's just, I don't know what I'm doing with it, and it bugs me. I don't like it. It's a dumb game. That was always the plan. But assuming it's a painting or something, what do we do? Any number of people may have ordered this inside the city. Well, first we should look for some clues. For example, the sending address is printed on the outside faintly. Oh, that's right. If you look closely, you can even see some letters. Eh, maybe it is for me. 
Just like, I know what I have to do, it's just tedious and cumbersome. <laughs> oh, I can see Lepant faintly there. Lepanto? Huh, isn't that like a famous name somewhere? Yeah, there's a store with that name on the main street. I'll check the records. There we go. One hit. There's a store called Lepanto in the department store. Nice work, Al. <laughs> I knew you'd be able to take care of this. Uh, it's kind of like our daily routine. But they've become really good at this. I should be proud of them. Hey, Instructor, should we head over there now? Yeah, let's go deliver it. The department store on the main street. We can get there by tram pretty quickly. <laughs> let's go then. So let's just hop right on over there. I mean, I get that it's like Magic the Gathering, but... Uh, I'm not quite sure how to build my deck properly since I don't know all the skills and special effects and stuff. So I feel like I'm really losing out. Unlike with uh, Magic the Gathering, where I know exactly what I'm doing. And not to toot my own horn, but I am fairly good at it. Makes sense, that does seem like a reasonable strategy. So this is Lepanto. Excuse us, we've got a delivery for you. Oh, that's the painting I ordered. Wow, I thought for sure it was lost. This is a masterpiece from the Great Dynasty period in North Ambria. When the Grand Duchy fell apart, this one got lost. I managed to buy it, although it was quite expensive. Is that so? Yes, the works from that period have to be quite valuable. Well, whatever. Not sure why this store needs it, though. <laughs> Thank you so much. Actually, can I bother you for something else? Sure, what is it? Actually, a package arrived in our shop that we aren't sure what to do with. Received a strange package. Oh no. Are we playing delivery boy for everyone across the Empire now? Sure, what is it? Oh, sorry. This is... It's definitely a painting based on its shape. Yeah, this arrived instead of the painting I bought. It was most likely transposed in shipping. I wanted to deliver it myself, but the delivery tag is missing. Are you kidding me? Huh, this might be tough without any clues. Oh! You guys are... Oh, it's Josette! Is that someone you know, Instructor? Yeah, I've met her before. She's part of a shipping company. <laughs> Looks like you're hard at work. Is something wrong? Well, actually... Explain the situation with the packages. Death and taxes, that's my kind of... That's got my kind of magic, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, that's a problem. This type of address tag is fragile, and it falls off easily. Oh, that package. The Community Antique Art Association. They're common customers. The Community Antique Art Association? They ship these expensive kinds of art. They use special wrapping to avoid damage to it. They ship to locations all over the city. Rushan, in the Reika district, is the most famous. Now that you mention it, I have seen paintings there before. Well, that's a good clue then. Thanks a lot, that really helps. No problem. If you ever need anything, don't hesitate to rely on the Capua Shipping Company. <laughs> 
Delivery Boy, Reen Schwarzer. Ashen Delivery Boy, Reen Schwarzer. Anyway, no sense walking there. Let's just fast travel to the, uh, to the inn here. And it's Lucian, not Rushian. That's probably a, uh, miscommunication on the script here, but that's fine. Those things happen, especially with the L2R thing. Excuse us, do you have a minute? Yes, what can I do for you? They explain the situation about the packages to Nancy. Oh yes, this is the work I ordered that was supposed to come last week. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. I got this instead of that. Uh, are you kidding me? Another one. Don't tell me that package on the counter is... Yes, this one arrived in mistake instead of this one. But I didn't know what to do about it. The destination tag was ripped off. Yet again. What the hell keeps ripping the tags off? Well, sorry about that. No, no, it's not your fault. We'll take care of it. Kurt, is there any clues you can think of this time? Well, it's another painting. And we can still see part of the tag. Something something L shop. That's what I can see. L's shop, huh? That sounds familiar. Well, we should be on the lookout. Sorry for shoving this on you. Well, as long as we don't have to deal with any Eldritch Abominations in, uh... In Sen 3, or Sen 4, that'd be fine. <laughs> anyway, L Shop. This might be the place. Well, it's not just because we have a uh, flashing red exclamation point here, but, uh... L Shop. Herschel Shop. It's perfect. Oh. Sorry. Herschel Shop. This must be it. Oh, hi guys. Excuse us, do you have a minute? They showed him the package. Oh, wow. This is a rough sketch from our stepfather. That's Toa's grandfather? Yes, he was studying a lot, so he had a lot of materials. This is a rough sketch of the celestial bodies. Sometimes his friends would send them to him. I see. He sounds like he's quite popular. But really, how small is this world that a sketch for Toa's grandfather would show up? Well, in any case, the mystery should be solved for now. <laughs> sure looks like it. Oh no, you failed to catch all the fish. I'm only missing one at this point. Actually, do you have a minute? No, no. Please, no! Not another missed delivery! I was just taking a look outside this morning, and I saw someone who left this. Fred put a package con on the counter this morning. Fred put a package containing a painting on the counter. This is the best looking package of them all. Oof, that sucks. You should still be able to catch them in the uh, leaves area if you uh, miss them though. But I imagine playing with the RNG isn't very fun. I'm not getting the complete enemy notebook. I'm not even worried about that. <laughs> anyway, this is the best looking package of them all. It's an Eastern style package, and it says, Inspection not necessary on the corner. An inspection not necessary? That's rather strange. Exactly. I thought it was something I ordered, so I checked the contents, and this painting was inside. N uh, what? Huh. That's definitely not what I was expecting from the packaging. Instructor, what do you think? I'll hold on to this. It's international mail. The fact that no inspection is necessary means the destination has some kind of diplomatic privilege. That's what I thought. An Eastern package with domestic privilege? 
Could it be? Oh, I get it. So it's for somebody at the Calvard Embassy. <laughs> Sorry to put this on you guys. Oh my god. It'll never end. Now you must endure my suffering of being the world's delivery boy. The Ashen Errand boy. Hey, that's Vivi. Say hi to Vivi. Not that this is translated, but we want to check out on check on on Vivi. <laughs> oh, we even got a character note for doing that. I was not expecting that. That's a good name for Yuna. Alrighty then, let's pop into the embassy here. There aren't any people here anymore. Seriously, what's going on? Well, it's not odd that it'd be temporarily closed, I suppose. Huh? Looks like the bell's broken. Oh no, we came all the way here. Hey, is anyone there? Hey, come out! the hell? Well, it's this guy again. Keep your voices down. What on earth do you want? You do realize this is a difficult time, right? Don't act so suspicious. Sorry. Actually, we have a delivery for the Republic Embassy. N a delivery? That's absurd. The ambassador was summoned back home. What on earth would be delivered here now? Oh, that package. It looks like we were spot on. <laughs> looks like my wife sent it. She always wraps her paintings in these cloth. But to think, she sent me something after all this time. And I haven't been able to come back home in two years. <laughs> I thought she fell out of love with me. I see. Yeah, but that painting is... Hmm? What's wrong? <laughs> Why don't you take a look? Well, fine, if you insist. He took a look at the painting inside. Oh. Is that your daughter who painted it then? Yeah, she's three now. I haven't been home to see her or my wife in so long. Amia, you got so big! I see. He hasn't been able to see how much his daughter has grown. Uh-huh. I'm gonna cry. What a nice family. We don't have very good diplomatic relationships with Calvard anymore. And yet, he's still forced here, unable to return home. Until the situation resolves, he might not be able to leave. So he hasn't been able to go home for two years. <laughs> uh... Thank you all so much. No, this is part of our job. It was a real pain in the ass, but I won't say anything. <laughs> You're always so honest, Ash. We know the circumstances, so we won't say anything. But let's keep working to fulfill our duties peacefully. Yeah, I agree. Someday, I'll be able to thank you for this properly. Everyone, let's meet again in happier times. Right. I mean, if she really wanted to be a delivery girl, I think she'd be a great one. But, uh... She clearly wants to be a cop. <laughs> anyway, we got 5,000 Mira for our hard work. And, uh... We have to head back to the airport now. 
Another phone call. Yes, this is Schwarzer. Yeah, good work today, Instructor Reen. This voice. Prince Cedric? Hey, Kurt. Looks like you guys are working hard in your training. You seem quite motivated. It appears the amplifier device is working properly. An update on our situation. We've apprehended 15 agents already. Uh, 15? Wow, you guys aren't too bad. Has the state of those agents been strange by chance? Zaya, so you've already heard. They seem like they're scared of something. Like they're in a state of panic. We managed to get them, but this was quite an anomaly. This case has something strange going on underneath. I agree. We're looking into the clues ourselves. Your Majesty, please be careful. You too, Kurt. Let's cooperate together as comrades to deal with this crisis. Oh. Yes, of course. <laughs> we'll contact you again if we learn anything more. Best of luck. Yeah, go with the blessings of Adios. Wow, he was actually agreeable for once. Yeah, I might have to reconsider my opinion of him. With all of us working together like this, we should be able to find a solution. So they also noticed the weird state of the agents. Yeah, we have to find the cause. Our morning patrol is almost finished. We gotta keep moving. Right. Uh, Cedric's a prick. There's, there's no way around that. It's a shame because he was such a nice kid in Cold Steel 2 and Cold Steel 1. But now he's just like, oh yeah, I'm the prince. I'm hot shit. Bow down to me. Like, fuck off, dude. You were Cayenne's puppet before and you're Osborne's puppet now. It's, uh, it's not really an endearing trait. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just marveling at the skybox here. Can't believe anyone would really want to be outside in this weather. That's, looks like Gwyn's got a new, uh, new outfit. Let's see what they're up to. Oh, hey guys! Oh, if it, is, if it isn't you guys. It's good to see you again. You've really changed. It's been a year and a half already. I've seen your face all over magazines and so forth. You've become so strong and dependable. Alisa must be pleased. <laughs> Cedric's still technically a minor. Grandfather, please! Oh, you're Alisa's grandfather. And the former chairman of the Reinford Group, right? <laughs> That's right. I'm the former chairman of Reinford who was ousted by his crazy daughter. Well, for you guys, you might be better off thinking of me as one of Schmidt's undesirable, but inseparable friends. <laughs> I see. Ah, so you're like that old man, huh? It's nice to meet you. Oh, so this is your new Class 7. So full of cute girls. It's to the point where you don't lose the former Class 7. Gwyn, please. They're children. You're like 80. Come on now. That pink-haired girl has a nice body. Silver-haired girl is like a little doll. And that mint-haired girl is like a little devil. How wonderful. Wonderful. 
Grandpa? Ha, <laughs> ha, well, we're... Class 7 introduced themselves. It's nice to meet all of you. Reen, Elisa, you do have some wonderful kids to be a role model for. We sure do. Although lately, I feel like they've almost caught up to me. No, we still have a long way to go. So, what are the two of you doing here? You said you had something to do with Gwen, right? Yeah, we've been checking into the airport records and the security systems. Not only did we find wiretaps, but a hidden camera as well. I see. So they've even penetrated the airport. I had heard about it, but it sounds like a troubling situation here. Although, we may just be at the tip of the iceberg. Oh. Hmm. I had heard that Angelica is missing too. I'm worried for Lord Rogner, so I figured I'd go check on him as well. Then you... Although, I don't think this case is connected to the Republic. That's true. There was also that incident with the gravesite. I've already informed Mother and Sharon about that. I'm sure we'll get news about her and George soon. Got it. I'm counting on you. By the way, Gwyn, Elisa... An airliner will be arriving on Deck 3 shortly. No! God damn it, you have to press them about Franz Reinford. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> right on time. Oh, that's... An airship? <laughs> Indeed. It's a noise that people in the capital are becoming familiar with. After Liberal's help, the Imperial Airlines began operating two years ago. Right, and that's the flying battleship cruiser, the Courageous. Did it get a new color scheme? It looks darker than usual. Like, it's definitely the same Courageous, but it, uh, definitely has a more ominous feel to it. Might just be the Skybox. Ciao, new Class 7. Uh, I haven't seen you guys for a month. This is also a blessing of the Goddess. Yeah, it might just be the lighting. Long time no see, Class 7. Yuna, Altina, Kurt. And the new members, Muse and Ash, as well. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. So you're the one they call the debaucherous prince. <laughs> Looking at you, I can believe it. Hey, Ash. You even brought the Crimson Wings with you. I heard it was looking all over the city. So, you're able to use it now, Your Majesty? Yeah, I had been restricted from it for about six months. But due to this crisis, the entire Courageous crew is back in action. Well, and we can use it as we please now. Currently, an unidentified airship has appeared over the airspace in the center of the Empire. Our main goal is to prevent it from entering the capital's airspace. I see. Might be from the society, but I'm about 90% sure it belongs to the Republic. The technology it uses is higher than Reinford technology. Oh, is that what you've landed to discuss? Yes, I've gotten to know Gwyn real well after the Courageous was constructed. So I came to consult about the enemy ship and the Republic. We don't have any time to waste. It will take us about 30 minutes to reload our supplies. And they will declare martial law by 4pm, 
Unless we can avoid that. Right. It does seem important to capture the intruding vessel. Well, we need to return to our duties as well. Your Majesty, Captain, we're counting on you with the ship. Leave it to me. The branch school, the main school, the guild. I am counting on all of you. Keep up the good work, above and below ground. Understood, Your Majesty. Well, it's more like, right, leave it to us, yes, Your Majesty, but whatever. So that's almost all the places we need to check out. And uh, another excuse for me to drop a save, I think. Ooh. Well, I know they remodeled it, but it does have a main gun, at the very least. Munitions might not be much, but it is a very large ship, so... I'm not sure if that really has much of an advantage in uh, aerial combat. But, you know. It's still one of the fastest ships in the Empire, so it does have some military use, at least. Alright then. Now it's about time we headed to the Imperial Villa, so let's go ahead and do that. The most convenient way to the villa is by train from the capital. Are we ready to head to the station? Well, I've made my save. I'm about as ready as I'll ever be. Yeah, I tend to agree. That's why the RCL is so great. Wow, every time I see it, that ship blows me away. And did you see Prince Oliver get off? Don't see him around much anymore. Don't get carried away. Let's get on the ship. It departs in 30 minutes. We need to load and check the supplies. That's right. Hmm. What the hell? What the hell? Hmm. Hey, what's wrong? No, I'm coming. Is that voice supposed to sound familiar? Reen and his class headed to the station to board a train bound for the Carol Imperial Villa. Thank you for waiting. This is a special service train bound for the Carol Imperial Villa. No, I'm, uh, I'm deeply concerned. What's gonna happen to the Courageous? Hope nothing bad happens. Please, nothing bad happen. Even with the dark, cloudy skies, this place still looks picturesque. <laughs> as long as Nightheart doesn't tell us we got all the recessive genes. Wow, how pretty! There are waterfalls, too! It feels like we stepped into a picture book. It's such a mysterious feeling. This place is way different than the capital. I'm surprised it's so close by. It's the Emperor's private residence, too. It's a pity it's so cloudy out. <laughs> I've come to visit many times when I was at school. I believe the members of Thors were recognized here after the Civil War a year ago for their services, right? Is that so? I had heard about that from my brother now that you mention it. Wow, really? <laughs> well, I guess. There's no need to feel concerned for me. It was just that inside that building, I intercepted the instructor and his group with Clown Soleil. Uh, really? Wow, seems like a lot went on. Eh, not bad, little rabbit. 
no, that's really not the issue here. Well, after all, you were functioning undercover at the time. I don't really think we need to talk about it. It's water under the bridge at this point. Roger that. 